These days with electric hypercars, if a supercar makes less than a thousand horsepower, it's unimpressive. It's becoming harder and harder to make a new hypercar that stands out. I mean the Rimac Navira makes 2000 horsepower, Koenigsegg CC850 has both a manual and an automatic gearbox, Bugatti has a quad turbo W16 making 1500 horsepower. So how do you wow the people when you have to compete with these insane cars? Well, you build a hydrogen powered hypercar with 2000 horsepower. This is the Hyperion XP1 and it's probably the coolest hypercar out there. Hyperion Motors have been working on a hydrogen powered hypercar for almost 10 years saying it's building the car in part to promote a hydrogen energy infrastructure. You see the company believes in the power of hydrogen and they believe in a future where we use hydrogen to power our vehicles and much more. Hyperion won't stop at building hydrogen cars, they also want to build a whole network of hydrogen refueling stations similar to Tesla. But today we are focusing on their car. So let's get into the insane technology used in this special hypercar. So what exactly powers the XP1? Well, this car utilizes the same type of technology Toyota uses with the Mirai. It's a fuel cell EV. Which basically means that it has a hydrogen fuel cell which powers a bunch of electric motors. Meaning that you have all the benefits of electric but none of the time wasted recharging the batteries. In other words, like with a normal gasoline powered car, when the tank is empty you stop at a refueling station to refill your tank. So how far can this car go on just one tank of hydrogen? Well according to Hyperion, the XP1 offers more than a thousand miles of range on a single tank of hydrogen. That's insane, this is a 2000 horsepower hypercar with a range of over a thousand miles. The CEO of Hyperion, Angelo Cafendaris, says that increasing the range on an EV is an incremental process, whereas with the fuel cell, you just increase the size of the tank. Another way that they are increasing the range a little is with some really cool active aero elements that double as solar panels. Okay, so we know that it's a fuel cell EV, but what motors power the XP1? Well, she uses four axial flux electrical motors, similar to the ones Koenigsegg use. So at each corner sits a 500 horsepower motor. It'll have all-wheel drive with a three-speed transmission and ultra capacitors to buffer the output of the fuel cell. This means that this car has a 0 to 60 of just 2.2 seconds and that she will go on to a top speed of 221 miles per hour. So it's fast and straight line, but according to Hyperion, this thing can be raced as well. You see, EVs are normally quite heavy. The Navira weighs over 2 tons, whereas this thing weighs only 1,248 kilograms or 2,750 pounds, so really lightweight. And it's not just lightweight because of a lack of batteries, the car also features a carbon fiber and titanium monocoque chassis. And the hydrogen tanks are also made out of super strong carbon fiber. All of this means that this thing will be a blast in a straight line as well as in the corners. Lighter cars just handle better. That's why everybody loves Lotus and cars like the Porsche 911 Carrera GT3 RS. So it all seems good, but is it safe? Well, according to the CEO, you don't have to worry about safety, stating you can throw our tanks off of a building or shoot them with a high powered rifle, they won't rupture. And it's not just Hyperion, all fuel cells these days are insanely strong and extensively tested, but they are expensive, using plenty of carbon fiber as well as many other strong materials. The XP1 is set to go into production this year with a limited run of 300 cars. By the way, these double barrel exhaust tanks are functional, although the only thing that comes out of them is water vapor. So how much for this insane car? Well, there is no official price as of now, but probably over $2 million, which is quite a lot of money. So the average person like me and you, not gonna buy it, but we can still just like look at it in awe and be like, wow, this is a cool car. Cause yeah, um, I'm not gonna have that amount of money anytime soon. Hopefully one day, but not anytime soon. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car related, this is the place to be. Like I do cars, I love cars. So cars is like my thing. If you like cars, you'll like my channel. Yeah, so go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one.
Cheers, I. 